Okay, welcome back everyone. Now that we've got all our business taken care of in town for the moment, let's head out and see if we can find that one guy that was attacked by the troll and do some of the other stuff we need to do. Like deliver mail. And pick flowers. So we know I don't need to go up that way. At least the map's going to make it a little easier to remember where I've been. Hey, you ate that boar I killed. Ah, you're no match for me. Can I skin you? Alright, but pelt's too damaged from combat and of no use. Oh, but I got some meat. Couldn't get the pelt, but got some more food. I'll take it. Then the bird just calmly goes off after watching me completely destroy that wolf frog thing. Let's see, I want to get down there, so let's head down that way. Maybe I'll run to that troll. Can I kill the rabbit? Nope, can't kill the rabbit. Just a nice little stroll in the forest. Although I can't linger too long. Otherwise, I'm going to start losing too much stamina. Just gonna check the cave one more time. It's a bird. Yep, okay, so grab the bird. Nope, nothing here right now. So let's continue on our way. Because now we shouldn't be blocked by the tech saying that I shouldn't venture too far from the town. Yeah, let's keep going down. Down this way. And actually, I'm going to let's speed this up a little bit because that's it's taking forever to walk. broken down, anything interesting? Nope. Nothing of interest. Is there anything up there? No, it doesn't look like there's anything up there either. Stamina wasn't so precarious, I'd start running. Okay, so I can't go that way. So which way can I go? Oh, it's a long roundabout way, apparently. Okay. 
Okay. Got the battle music here. It's a killer squirrel. Prepare for battle. <laughs> I found you. No, human. That's your doom. That hand. I'm being threatened by a squirrel. Why do you want to doom me? Well, oh, the stupid human asks me why. Because it's a I'm rabid the squirrel. Ragnarok. With these very teeth, I gnaw through the branches and roots of Ujjusil until the world tree shall fall. Oh, yes. Uther is but an upstart. Fenrir, an amateur. It has been prophesied that I, Ratatask the Doom Squirrel, shall herald the twilight of the gods! How come I've never heard of you? So, how exactly is my doom at hand? I shall poke at your eyes with my sharp, sharp tail. I shall hide all the acorns you are stealing for winter. I shall bite your bones and not on your marrow. Yeah, I'm not scared of you. I already know your name. You cannot even reach my eyes. Oh, do not act so tough. Whenever you walk from the leaf of tree, know that Ratatusk may be lurking on the branch of the bell, ready to pounce on you. Ratatusk, the doom squirrel! Aw, oh, such a cute little I'm squirrel. Going to him. Really? Oh. No, I'm not cute! I'm evil and misshapen and vile with my sharp, nasty teeth of do. Yes, Just What a... is your name? Fill it out. What? You do not recognize me? Nope, even though you already told me who you are. Ratatask. Ratatask the mighty. Ratatask whose teeth cut the branches of old Jusil and Oh. Ratatask, the original Doom Squirrel! <laughs> Dolls upon my visage and tremble! I could just kick you. Doom Squirrel? The very same! Humans have such poor senses, but I knew you would recognize me eventually. So, yes, prepare to meet your doom at the hands of Ratatask. Claws of Ratatask, that is, claws of doom! Claws that shall pierce your skin and spill your blood in the forest. <laughs> yes. Not if I kill you first! Yeah. Ha! That is the spirit. But no, little mortal, I am not so easily defeated by the likes of you. I will come at you when you least expect it, and I shall pounce on you and bite off parts of you, starting with your nose! <laughs> I so want to kill you now. Moving on. This should take me the right way then. Yeah, here's where I want to go. A small smil yeah, f small village, small village of that place. I think in future ones, if I'm just doing traveling, I'm going to cut that out. Other than maybe the battles, but just the walking.
Ah, I guess I randomly picked the uh, well healers. Thimble winter is harsh to us. Falls are rampant. And food is running low. So I'm surprised we still find travelers who make it here. Welcome to Manavagir, stranger. What is your name? My name is Liv. I am a practiced herbalist and the village healer of Manavagir. I am also a proven warrior should Sigurd need me, although I prefer not to use that skill. I have a letter for you, don't I? Do you know the herb mugwort? I need to get that anyway. Yes, I am familiar with mugwort. It is a common ingredient in potions. I do not have enough to sell you, but you should be able to find some in an open rocky area. I believe northeast of Munavagir there is a good spot. Good to know. What can you tell me about the big city? Our rival city. Most of the people in Munavagir do not like it, but I believe there are some good people there. What do you think of Lithrasir? Oh, Lithrasir. We have met only briefly, but I am smitten. If only she would send me some news of her. Well, it's a good thing I'm here because I have a letter for you. Uh, but I guess I don't do it in text. I guess I have to just give it to you. I wish you good- Stay in Manavigir as long as you like. And where's the letter? Which it wasn't. Yeah, that's what I want. Here you go. Thank you. Since this letter is really important to me, I shall give you ten silver for your trouble. I have a request for you as well. I would like to send flowers to Lithras here, but they are too hard to find in winter. Mind you, not those dangerous frost flowers that grow near Yarnvidir. I mean real flowers. Since you travel more than I do, perhaps this is something you can help me with. Okay, if I find any, I'll give you some. I'll bring them to her. Well, uh, do you buy anything? Good day to you. Uh, where's the buy your wares? There. I would like to buy. Some there is value in potions and alchemy. Odin of the Shaggy Cloak knows this, and was. I'm happy to tell you that my prices are not so steep. Although I do not sell the wisdom water, there likely is none of it left within this world. Perhaps you are interested in purchasing some of my potions? Yes, yes, I am. So we got healing, mana... What's the healing potion cost? I would like a healing... It is always wise to keep a few healing potions at hand. They are guaranteed to save you from certain death. Yes, yes. Offer... Nope, don't die now. Okay. I wish to stay. Oh, well, that is it for now. Oops, don't need to talk to the floor. Whose house is this I'm entering now, I wonder? Some ladies. Hey, I don't think they had grandfather type clocks in. Is this ancient not times. a very ingenious device? Yeah, it it's tells an anachronism. You what time it is, even when the sun is not shining. Good day to you. I'm surprised to see somebody new in Manarvagir. Does the thimble winter not make traveling too dangerous? Thankfully, we have more supplies and a lesser population than our cousins in Fornsigtuna. The trade routes are cut off, and we would risk starvation if we were not prepared. Okay, nothing. I bid you farewell. It was nice to speak right with now. you. Interest right now. Let's see if we can find what's that guy's name. Now, oh, so he's actually past the city here. Well, before we go looking for him, let's just look around the rest of the town here. Close open, just da 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 da, da locked. Why do I keep wanting to talk to doors? 
locked. And locked. It's not sewn well. So it's like, duh, duh, duh. Nothing of importance here then, right now. Good morning, miss. Tis a harsh winter we having, and there be little food left. So, can you spare a corn for a poor orphan? Uh, not right now, because I'm. I think poor. not. Well, then, what do you want? I bid you fa don't freeze yourself. Yeah, it already happened once. Door's locked. So I'm not giving you anything because I think you're a thief. Yeah. What we got here? Send a Standing near the Pelsids is an ancient looking stone, almost entirely covered in runic images. You have no idea what it means, but it looks enormous. Who are you? Yes, I am listening. When you have reached my age, you have less to worry about the world freezing and all that. Why is there a ghost in the library? Oh, that is just old Zanzibar. You can kick him if he bothers you. He just likes disturbing people, is all. Why is he there? Heavens, do not ask me. I think he just came with the place. What would an old library be without a good haunting, after all? Uh, a library that doesn't have a haunting? That doesn't make you always have to pick up your books? Does the cat belong to you? Probably. Oh, not at all. I belong to him. You know how cats are, after all. He is a horrendous master, too. That is what I call him. Horrendous. Cute thing, is it not? <laughs> no, not really. Who are Please you? Please tell me about yourself. Well, I might be the storekeeper. I might also be the mayor of this town. But sometimes I'm but a lazy I'm man who not. just reads the books. I merely take care of Munavagir's library. And Munavagir is what you are standing in. <laughs> Can you recommend me a book? So you want to be a hero, do you now? Well, I have just the book for you. But you have to find it first, because a book earned is a book saved. I will give you this note with a clue, and if you can find the book, it is yours. Good day okay. to you. Oh, it is very much so. And I wish you the same. So what'd you give me? It was written for the lack of a better word in indecipherable script with handwriting you can't make out any of it. <laughs> Perhaps the library can be of some help. Eh, I'll do that later. Right now, I need to go find that other guy. I think I'm going to let this one run a little longer just because since part of it was taken up by the traveling. I think I'm definitely, like I said, going to cut uh, some of those out in the next couple of videos because... They seem to be taking up about half the time. What do we got here? Water spirit hovers nearby, trying to attract your attention to something. Indestructible. It tries you might, you're unable to catch it. Well, can I talk to it? Yeah, it's probably pointing to go down this way. Aha! Man is lying on his side in the snow. He looks badly hurt. 
and appears to be unconscious. We determine that the wound is not as bad as it seems, but the man suffers from severe frostbite. Yep, let's pick him up. It's much heavier to carry, so you decide to drag him to the nearby village for recovery. Although you need to go up that way. Unless there's a village over here. You take the man to his house in the village of... That. Not going to pronounce it. By the warmth of the hearth fire, he quickly recovers. I thank you for aiding me. Had some hostile creature come by. I may have been in trouble. You are welcome. I am Sigurd, son of Sigmund, protector of Munavagir and keeper of the Skyfire Inn. You are not from these places. What is your name? My name? I am Lagertha, warrior. I am a warrior and mighty slayer of trolls. <laughs> Tis good to have another warrior in our midst. I am honored to meet you. This is the Skyfire Inn. You glad to meet me at all. You, you would have been dead. You're welcome to stay here as long as you please, and to share food at my table. I bid you welcome to Minavigir. I thank you. Can you tell me who attacked you? It was a two-headed troll by the name of Revolvi. When I meet him again, I shall crush his skulls with my blade. I know him well. Did he want anything? Indeed. The foul troll seeks the eye of Fiasi. Do not ask me more about the eye, for I shall not tell you. So Very can you well. tell me more about the eye that you said you won't tell me? <laughs> what is the eye of Thiasi? We shall not speak of this. Ah, oh, come on. What is the eye of Thiasi? We shall not speak of this. Fine. What can you tell me of the forest? The endless trees of Yanvidir are dangerous to the unwary, but prove no match for a seasoned warrior. Yeah, they there are. are nasty vargs in the forest. I the vicious one. wolves of the Northland are not to be trifled with. A single varg should not be dangerous, but they tend to hunt in packs large enough to trouble a seasoned veteran. They know to approach from downwind like a true predator. What can you tell me about the big city? Are you just going to tell me the same the thing city as of everyone Fulcic else? The city of is our chief rival in these woods. It's Yal, Ilfing the Craven, seeks to place us under his rule, but we stand strong in resistance. Tell me about Munarvigir. We are a proud city, bastion amidst Yanvidir, and valiant raiders over Gandvik. Or oh, we would if Lake Gunberg were not frozen solid with this fell winter. As warden of the city, I take it as my duty to know all the residents. Okay, nothing else here. Please tell me about yourself. I am Sigurd, son of Sigmund. Proven warrior, marked by battle, wielder of the blade Nofum, and defender of Munavagir. And defeated by trolls. Okay, I, think I that's wish you good health. I, you are pondering something. Yes, I believe this troll who attacked you is also after other people. The dastardly creature would do that. Since it came after me, its next target is likely to be Voland, the smith. And why is that? Because he is the strongest warrior in Fornsichuna. As I am here, thank Odin that he has the Jarl's soldiers to protect him. Nevertheless, I shall warn him next time we meet. Probably means he Do went out to the try. forest and... I shall take the time to fortify this town attacked. to keep the troll out. Well, while I'm here, let's cook my meat I got earlier. Or not. Good for a solid defensive line, although I prefer the sheer edge of a broadsword myself. Good to know. Let's 
Small hand mirror, can I take it? Of course, I have to look. I have to look my best when I'm fighting. Is that... Okay, good, I did take it. Can I cook my meat up here without Sigmund? Yes. Okay, so I have all of them in one. Good. But we're open for a bathing scene with lots of gratuitous nudity. Sorry, but you're not. You've got the wrong game for that. Yeah, you need to play Leisure Suit Larry. Or some other games. Come on, get drawing with Thor and Loki walking up to the giant forest in the Outlands. Okay. Let's it's night. Let's sleep. Sleep until dawn, and quickly fall asleep. I knew it. Yep. Stop, thief! Out the window. Black and white hunting dog sits nearby. What'd they take? Guess it took one of my food and all my money. Pet the dog. I know where you went. By the time you make it out to the inn, there's no sign of your midnight visitor. You wonder how they were going to find the thief. Uh, probably because they're going to be there in the morning. What do we got here? Small piece of cloth has fallen in the snow. Appears to have been part of somebody's cloak. Yeah, I wonder who it was. If you start talking to me, I'm not going to be happy. Alas, nobody follows your tweet. You know, you should have taken the course on bird language back at Herring, Harrowing School. At it. Let's eat. Om nom nom. There's something important to use the meat. No, oh, no, I don't want to use the meat. That's why. Owl, are you following me? That's uh, yeah. That's the library. Let's look at torn up some clothes. Okay, no hints. Stores closed. Where are you, you little thief? Welcome to our fair village, traveler. I am sure your stay here will be a pleasant one. Yeah, even except when for the, the winter thieves. outside is harsh and dangerous. There's a thief there in was my a room. thief in my room at night. Yes, that is part of the hazards of adventuring. Any major city is bound to have thieves in it somewhere. If something was stolen from you, I would recommend just buying new things. Surely an adventurer like yourself could afford that. No, I can't, because she stole my money. No, don't need any of those. I wish Fear you good no health. health. Happy adventuring. Please, come back when you have more good stories to share. 
Come back when you're actually of help. Okay, time to check the library then. It's the only building I can go into. Hey, ghosted librarian, you seen a thief? This book explains while well, humanoid creatures can usually talk, inanimate objects cannot. Or not. Can I show this to you? You're useless. Now you're down here. What are you doing? Maybe I can show it to this guy. Okay, well, it's morning now. Sigmund waves back to you. Oh, that's the lady from the shop. Well, what do you got to say? I was in your inn, and I got something stolen from What me. am I, a dog? You think I can identify a scrap of cloth just by smelling it? No, but I bet you the other dog could. Where'd he go? Aha! Sniffs the claws and then purposely wanders off sniffing the ground. Let's go. Aha! I thought so. Never trust a building with a boarded up windows. You got some splaining to do. Welcome back, traveler. I'm sure your stay here will be a pleasant one, even when the winter outside is harsh and dangerous. Nope. I wish you happy adventure. Not even going to bother denying it. Please do not touch that. The placement of items throughout the room is important for the fitting atmosphere. Yeah. Sure it is. Maybe I have to wait till you leave. Please do. I'm just going to touch all your stuff. Please do. Welcome back. Please tell me about yourself. Maybe I have to get him to... Talk well a bit met, more. well met. My name is Reagan, occasionally known as Reagan the Magnificent. But please, just call me Reagan. Unless you really want to. 
I don't. And who do I have the honor of speaking to? I am a traveler from... And it is all too clear how that sentence ends. The look in your eye, that dazzling cape, the fact that you walked into Muna Vagir in the middle of this harsh winter. Why, you must be an adventurer. Do not deny it. Tis written all over your face. That is good to see, and I wholeheartedly support it. Why, back when I was younger, I used to go on adventures myself. Yeah, you probably stole I everything. I performed a quest or two. Is that not splendid? No, I should not tell really. you that if you find any gemstones in your travels, I would be happy to buy them off you. Or take they remind them. me of my own traveling days. So what questing did you do? Oh, I could talk about those all day. Why, did you know it was me who recovered the famous mirror with a leer from the mists of Niflheim? You don't say. But you likely do not want to hear my tales. You want to star in tales of your own, do you not? So let me ask your assistance for something. You see, my father Reithmar was a rich man, owner of a magic chest that would produce gold and gemstone each day. Mm -hmm, sure. But my brother Fafnir is a greedy one. Coming in the dark of night, he slew my poor father just to take the chest from him. A sad tale, is it not? I fought with him, but I am no match for Fafnir in battle, so I was forced to flee. Still, this is a foul deed that needs avenging. So here's your heroine's quest. Take my sword, which is called Gram, and defeat Fafnir to avenge my father. You can bring me the chest as proof. Oh, I you the chest. Of course you are. Trust, trust. I can see it in your eyes. Of course you shall have a great and fitting reward when you are done. Thank you so much for your help. I don't like you because apparently the thief is behind your wall here. I wish you good ha happy adventure. Well, I think I have to wait for him to leave, but I think we will leave that right here. And we'll see if we can catch the thief in the next one. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, or favorite, or share the video with your friends. Helps me out when you do, and I will see you next time. Till then.